Once it finally opens, SCI Phoenix will house about 4,000 inmates, but with new technology and more efficient staffing, Pennsylvania Department of Corrections Secretary John Wetzel says compared to Greaterford, SCI Phoenix will save taxpayers about $10 million a year. But more importantly, it has lots of program space, and, and what we know about inmates who come in today is that they're not educated. About 40 percent, he says, do not have a high school diploma. They also uh, have significant treatment needs. About a third are mentally ill, and about three quarters have some kind of addiction issue. So this prison is really built for modern inmates. So this is our one of our centralized video monitors. Along with modern technology gone are the old lock and key, which are still in use at Greaterford. They're replaced by electronic centrally monitored cell doors and gates, cameras and sensors. So what you see behind you are two different setups. Um, these operate the doors and the gates. Lieutenant Walter Grunder says the perimeter of SEI Phoenix is surrounded by a double ring of fences with razor wire along with the cameras and sensors. Over at Greaterford, we have a 30-foot wall. Over here, we have what we call an electronic fence detection system. And what I'd like to show you now is something that not a lot of people ever get to see, and that is actually the area between the two fences. So follow me. Okay. You can basically throw a rope over a 30-foot wall and climb over it, but with this, gives us, us a much more accurate picture of the facility and the perimeter. Our lighting is much better here because we don't have the shadows and nooks and crannies of the wall. Prison Superintendent Cynthia Link, who says the new SCI Phoenix is designed to take on the challenges facing the modern-day inmate. We have to take a look at people, what drives their behavior, um, what gets them into the situations that they end up in, and then try and address that so that they're making better choices. And the new prison is ADA compliant. Standing in the middle of the new general population wing, Link says unlike SCI Greaterford, Phoenix has handicapped accessible cells. So if you're a wheelchair-bound person at Greaterford, you're living in the infirmary. Here you could actually live in a housing unit. Um, you can go to a regular dining room. You don't, you know, you're not being fed in your hospital room. General warning, I do not have a key to any of these yard doors, so if you lock yourself in... That's the life for most inmates, at least, but like Greaterford, SCI Phoenix will have RHU, restricted housing units, similar to the old solitary confinement, for example, anyone who breaks the rules in general population. Some other reasons we would put inmates in this unit is if they were a capital case inmate, if they've been given the death sentence, or if we have an inmate that would, say, be high profile, and we'd want to provide further pr protection or security for them. But rather than locking someone away alone with no stimulation, Superintendent Link says there's the carrot or the stick approach. We're also looking at incentivizing positive behavior while they're within this kind of unit. So if you're quiet and you're not banging on your door and you're following the officer's order, you could possibly earn the use of your tablet. You could earn the use of different kinds of things like your radio because we're trying to help people gain control of their behavior, make better decisions, make more sound decisions. Opening SCI Phoenix has been anything but smooth sailing. The project has a $400 million price tag. It was started under the Rendell administration and is already two years overdue. Following the most recent delays, the goal is to have inmates in by next summer.